Hi, this is Dr. Matsko, and I just wanted to show you uh, this FET simulation from the University of uh, Colorado Boulder. Um, incredible simulation. Uh, it's nice to look at. So let me just reset it here. I'm going to set up a thermometer and let's measure the thickness of the glacier. Right, this looks about the max thickness. All right, so these are the default parameters that we have. Um, let's see, let's look at, let's observe uh, what happens when we change these two parameters that we could change. Uh, firstly, the air temperature, uh, sea level air temperature. So here it starts at sea level temperature of 66, which means here at the glacier it's at 12 degrees Fahrenheit. We can uh, decrease that and we see an immediate response. Uh, it's getting much longer. Put our, let's see, and it is still growing. You can see up here, we got a significant, uh, let's look at our equilibrium line. Okay, so I'm around here. All right, so now we have an increased thickness of uh, oops, somewhere around 940, 950. Oh, there we go. Over here, it's a little longer. Okay. Uh, somewhere around 96, 9070. Looks like the best. Oh. So I've got actually, I'm going to make this speed up. All right. So it's only been 380 years. What happens if I make it faster? Oh, it's still growing, okay. Okay. Still growing, all right. Well, anyways, we get the idea. All right, so that's decreasing it only to 64 degrees uh, at sea level, 13.4 degrees here. Gonna make it even colder. Uh, and colder, and you can see it continues to grow, and it is lengthening and moving longer. All right, set glacier to steady state. Oh, okay. And at steady state, we have 1322, right? As we come, uh, we can warm it up again. If you increase the temperature, uh, we find, Let's put all the way 68. What's happening? It's shortening. It's getting smaller and smaller. Mm. Mm. Let's wait for hundreds of years to pass as it gets smaller, smaller. Now I gotta go find it again. And we find where's our thickness? Is there basically nothing at all? Okay, so I think that counts as. A thickness of zero. Okay, it has um, it has retreated and it's become basically zero. All right, so let's put it back at something normal or ish, and let's look at snowfall instead. Okay, I think, uh, Let's jump to steady state. Okay. And 945 ish might be our thickest. 946. Okay, that's our thickest. Let's see. And this has our average snowfall set to 3.1 feet. Uh, let's go. Let's go more snow. What happens if we got more snow? We can see that this is increasing, the glacier itself is lengthening, and let's go to the steady state. Here we are, steady state. Uh, at least 1100. We can put another measuring device on here. Let's see, 1189 ish. 1189. So what happens if we go the other way? Instead, our average snowfall, we're going to decrease it. I'm going to put at zero, uh, or let's put it, let's put at one foot for now. Wow, it is retreating rapidly. Where'd it go? Okay. 
Oh. And, and it's gone. <laughs> okay, that doesn't look good. So that's our snowfall of one foot. Oh, what happens if I make it cold? But it has average snowfall of one foot. Okay, so you still have the glacier. So you can see it, it depends, it has to be both cold and it has to have a significant amount of snowfall. And if we go to a third of a foot per year, it's basically gone. So there's some cutoff, it seems. All right, well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, watching me explore the FET simulation.